Hello, this is the Haunt Informer, and today I'm giving you updates about Creepy World and the Darkness Haunted House. Creepy World is getting two new haunted attractions for 2021. They are getting the Tales of Terror and the Curse of Jack the Ripper, and both sound good to me. And the Tales of Terror will be more about creatures and monsters, and then the Curse of Jack the Ripper will be based all upon Jack the Ripper. It's going to be very grungy and dark and decrepit, and it's going to be really interesting, and they're going to have lots of good quality sets with the London backdrop, and there could be the potential for lots of gory props in there, because Jack the Ripper was known to disembowel his victims, so it could be a gory house, and there's definitely going to be good quality scares and video effects mixed in there. Darkness always has major renovations every year, and this year is no exception. They are getting two new scenes in the darkness, and they update the gift shop. One of the new scenes is an expansion of the mansion area of the darkness, and they're building a conservatory, and there's going to be four new video effects in there and some animations. Another new scene in the darkness has an industrial theme, and there's an animation of barrels that are falling down on you, and there's fog effects, and there's video effects and lots of detail, and there's a hanging dead body from Ghost Ride Productions from the ceiling, and it looks really cool. It's actually a half body, it's cut in half, so there's lots of detail in there. They're definitely taking their time to make it really good quality. They're also putting loud noises in that scene, and that'll definitely be startling. Once you exit the haunt, Terror Visions in 3D at the darkness, you go right into the gift shop, and the gift shop is now an arcade slash gift shop. So there are lots of arcade games to play, horror-based games like Aliens, and they have all kinds of good things to look at. And there's lots of horror memorabilia you can look at. They rearrange that and put new red lights on it. It looks nice, and they have lots of really cool props. And then the new shop is called the Little Shop of Horrors now, which is fun. And they got a brand new carpet for the floor. It looks really cool. It was custom made for them. And the darkness logo is on there. And they have different arrows pointing to the photo op and the five minute escape room that's in there and the gift shop. And they're going to continue making new designs for their gift shop, whether it be for a t-shirt, long sleeve shirt, or a hoodie. Also at St. Louis Escape, they are currently building the Frankenstein escape room. And I think it's going to be really awesome. They're going to do a really good job putting good quality props and animatronics and video effects in there. That was the Han Informer. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get a notification every single time I put up a new video. Give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And I am on social media. I am on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. You can find all those links in the description below. And what is your favorite update in this video? And as always, happy hauntings.